Evening chaps. I'm out tonight. I'm having a few beers. I'm on soy. Let me think about that. I'm on soy seven. Hanging out with me old mate and nemesis Uncle Nick. Nobody likes him, but don't tell anyone, will you? Um, and one of me mates said, Pat, are you doing a video about tonight? And I said, ah, oh, totally a joke. And I, I haven't got me, I haven't got me GoPro or anything like that. Or my, you know, my sound people or my producers or makeup artists with me. And he said, oh mate, you should. And suddenly I am, yeah. So here we are, yeah. Soy 7, A7 DJ bar. The, uh, the problem to all my answers. <laughs> But look, we're here, and listen, why not, yeah? For some reason, now here's the thing, you know, here's the thing, all, all joking aside and all kind of music and large-breasted women with high heel shoes and nothing else aside, right? I do a video about me on the beer, having the crack, having a good time all the time, and I get two, three, four, five, up to 8,000 views on me little drunken video. I do, a, I do a cultural video, be that here in Thailand, in Ireland, or wherever I go. 400 views, nobody cares. Life is good as an alcoholic. By the way, that's, listen, no it isn't. Right? No, it isn't. I know people that have been down that road in a big way and have lost their lives. So alcoholism is not to be joked about. So I apologize to anyone that's struggling and anyone that's who's had family members that have struggled or even worse. So, you know, please don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm not being funny about that. What I am being funny about is that when I'm sober and doing something interesting, as far as I'm concerned, nobody cares. When I'm out on the rip and I'm doing something totally frivolous and drunken, everybody wants to see it. So come and have a look. Have a look, lad.
Oh my god, this is getting a little bit repetitive coming in here and spending me money with that reprobate nickname. Nobody likes him. Everybody says the same thing. There he is there. He's the it's all his fault. Anyway. Anyway, let's let's move somewhat out of the way. Out of the noise. And this, my friends, is Soy 7. Let's make it great again. Used to be great. This soy was fantabulous back in the day before, before COVID. Now, I did hear a few people say that uh, when COVID came, Soy 7 was gone. It was no longer what it used to be. It was no longer any good. It was... It had had its day and it was all over by then. Don't know anything about that, guys. I, I was not a... I was not a potato aficionado at the time. I wasn't a Thailand aficionado at the time, so... Haven't a clue. But I'll tell you something. Walk down that way and you're going to have some great fun. In the meantime, we are stuck in Nick, De Nick Dean's... A7 DJ bar that nobody likes. It's so bad that there's no free seats in there. It's all terribly busy right now, yeah? And across the road, there's Rolling Live 4, which is a great bar if you like a late night drink. At about, I don't know, late night. And the ladies there, trying to pull in the punters and uh, it's all great fun so listen if you like a, a late night drink after you leave a seven dj bar go win to road and live and have the time of your life at first this is quite hair raising but then you get used to it so it's sort of water off a duck's back yeah on the back of my motorcycle, no helmet at sometimes breakneck speeds, but not now. But nonetheless, it's still, it's still quite a uh, an experience. Yeah, let's keep doing it. I'm a motorcyclist since 1981, and I would never dream of getting on a motorcycle without a helmet until I came to this country and it's just the done thing until you get stopped by the police without a helmet that's another story but just driving around town um, especially in Patea it's as far as I know and I could be wrong I usually am the law is that the driver must wear a helmet, yeah? Could be totally wrong on that, but... I'm getting around town on a motorcycle taxi for a sort of 10 minute journey will cost you 60 baht, which is one euro and I think, I don't know, 20 cents, something like that, yeah? Greatest way, best way of getting around town. Well, at your own risk, mate, yeah. Oi, oi, oi. Lots and lots of beer bars and. Yeah. Oh, mother of God, here we go, yeah. All part of the fun until you end up in the hospital, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> we're all here. It looks like we're all here. And that is Las Vegas where we bloody started tonight, yeah. So, 
and that is the Eureka Lodge, which is a special place in my heart. Shout out to Ray, my best mate, me and I number one, best best mate uh, uh, of my of my time in Thailand, mate. <laughs> Thinking of you, and it ain't no, ain't no sort of gay shit, mate. Ray is just my mate, yeah. Come on, we're going in here. I'm gonna sing some songs in here. Cause I'm Irish and that's what we do. I'm sorry, he's from, he's from Cavan. <laughs> Nobody knows what he's saying. We just agree. Hallelujah. <laughs> We're now in Heartbeat Bar on Soy Diana, which is, which is one of my favorite spots. And I occasionally sing a song here, yeah? And so does my mate Tom, yeah? <laughs> Your sex is on fire. For God's sake, put it out. Oh my God, this is getting boring now. Touching me, touching you. All right, chaps, we're in. Okay, okay, Metro. And Larry is the uh, special offer of the night. <laughs> oh my God. Oh Jesus Christ. Sorry, lads. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Why are you sorry? Listen, this is me signing off. Oh, yeah. Good luck, good night. May I go go with you? Oh, Christ Almighty! Don't forget your shovel. Oh, uh, you know, buy a shovel first. Oh Christ Almighty! Oh, no. Good luck at night. Man, say your thing. Have a what? Have a what? Have a. No. She don't even remember. Listen, have a good night. Have a good time. All the time, oh. chefs. Good night. Oh, good night. Oh, Larry. <laughs>